I want to get to something slightly different to start this weathercast. Um, it's been 172 days since a smog alert was issued for Cincinnati, and that's a new record. Local 12 meteorologist Scott Dimmick shows us how the weather is supporting better, better air quality. Through a combination of doing our share for cleaner air and help from Mother Nature, air quality has been better than average the last two years. This is the first time since we've been calling smog alerts. It's about the mid-90s that we've had no, you know, back-to-back -back years with no smog alerts called. A typical smog alert day in Cincinnati is hot with very little in the way of precipitation and a very light wind. Over the past two years, what we've seen is we've seen a lot more wind and air movement during the summers, more cloud cover with a buildup of clouds, and then also we've seen lower temperatures these past two summers. And what that has helped done is basically mix the pollutants so they don't build up quite as high. The Southwest Ohio Air Quality Agency also worked with the community to make the air we breathe healthier. Over the past couple of years, there's been a reduction in the power plant emissions. And we've uh, developed an anti-idling campaign over the past two years with schools and businesses to reduce the idling, which helps reduce air pollution. These measures have helped to lower ozone levels in the tri-state and allow us to avoid vehicle testing. More importantly, better air quality also means a better quality of life. Cleaner air would be more healthier people and less, you know, less visits to the emergency room. I'm meteorologist Scott Dimmick, Local 12 News.